At the beginning of the story, we see an old woman, Edna, standing in a very strange condition. It seemed that she was not remembering anything and was looking back in amazement. And then in a little while she disappeared from her house. No one knew where she went. After that we see Edna's daughter and her daughter Sam. Because these people got the news that she suddenly disappeared. That's why Edna's daughter was coming to her mother's house with Sam. She was running from the city to the jungle. When she reached there, she saw that the door was closed from inside. On which she was quite surprised that if she is missing, then how is the door closed from inside? But still, as soon as the door opens, she comes inside. But Edna does not show her anywhere. And let's talk about the house, the situation there was also quite strange. Because there was a black fungus everywhere, like perfume etc. which looks like dirt. The fruits were rotten, along with that papers were sold in different places in the whole house. On which something was written. It seemed that her mother has not cleaned here for centuries, and she has forgotten to work. But now she checked the whole house. Upon finding her mother's name, Edna's daughter went to the police to get a report. Where the police asks Edna's daughter some questions. When was the last time you spoke to Edna? In response to which she says that it has been a long time. Almost many weeks. On which the police takes a picture of Edna and says that we are trying to find her from today. If you also know anything, then tell us. Edna's granddaughter Sam came to Edna's room to keep some things. Here she saw a wardrobe that was like a storeroom. Inside which Sam goes. And when she was picking up the bed from there, she saw the same black fungus on the walls here. Like it was all over the house. But ignoring this, she came out. Then her mom came here. Who tells Sam that what will happen to your job? You have come here with me, but will you get so many holidays? On which Sam says, Mom, the thing is that I have left that full-time job. I am now running my livelihood by doing an online job, which I can do at home too. From their talks, we realized that they do not live together. Apart from this, they did not have a relationship like that of a mother and son. They do not talk to each other much. But the next day Sam, his mom, the police and the people of the neighborhood go to the jungle so that they can find Edna. They did a lot of research, but it was of no use. After which they came home, and Sam's mom starts cleaning. At night, Sam started talking to Edna's neighbor. She asks, did you used to come to this house? To my grandmother, and when did you talk to her for the last time? On which the boy says that he used to come before, and now it's been a long time, I did not talk to him. Because my dad strictly forbade me to stay away from Edna and her house. Knowing this, Sam was very surprised that why did his dad say this? Now before that, she asks the reason for this. That neighbor boy left from there. After which Sam comes and talks to his mom about Edna. On which his mom said that Edna was behaving strangely for a long time. She really started forgetting things. Because a few weeks ago she talked to my mom. She was telling me that I feel like someone has entered the house. At first, I also felt strange to hear this. That's why I talked to the neighbors. Then they told me that there is nothing like that. In fact, often Edna opens the door herself and forgets. She does not remember to close it. And she has a misconception that someone has entered the house. Hearing this, Sam felt strange. She tells her mom that she is old. You knew so much about her. But still why did not you take her to your house? There was not even so much space in your house. She is a burden for you. In response to which her mom says, Son, it's not about space in the house, it's not a burden. In fact, I am very busy in my work. If I had taken her to my house, how would I have taken care of her? In response to which Sam says, Mom, they raised you and made you so big. Always took care of you. And today when they needed you, you left them alone, turned away from them. After saying this, she left. Now when Sam's mom was in her room, she hears a strange sound from a wall. Which was so loud that Sam also heard it in the other room. And now she came here. She saw that the black fungus was spreading very fast on that wall. Seeing this, she felt that the sound must be coming because of this. So they ignore this thing. Now when Sam's mom was sleeping at night, she had a strange dream. Like there is a house in the jungle and an old man is living there. But when she went inside to check, that man had died. Even his dead body was in a bad condition. It was rotten. Now seeing this terrible dream, Sam's mom was very scared. Her eyes opened, but she saw that it was still night. That's why she comes to her daughter Sam and sleeps. Then the next day when her eyes opened, she started hearing sounds from the kitchen. And when she went and saw, her mom was Edna, who had come back herself. And now seeing her safe, Sam's mom was very happy. Her life was saved. But now when she asked Edna, where were you? She didn't answer. In the meantime, Sam also came here. She was very happy to see her grandma Edna back. Now Sam's mom calls the police station and informs Edna to come back. 
Along with that, she also asks a doctor to check if her mom is okay. On which the doctor tells her that you should calm down. She is absolutely fine. She didn't even get hurt. But when the doctor saw the black mark on her chest, she asks Edna about it. On which Edna had to say that I don't know about this. I just saw this mark. On which the doctor ignores this mark and says that it will be fine on its own. And Sam's mom says that she has grown old. Don't leave her alone at this age. Take care of her. Saying this, she left. Now Sam's mom tries to ask Edna again. Mom, tell me where did you go? On which Edna had to say that I don't remember anything. And I am also not feeling well. On which Sam's mom says that you do one thing, let your grandma rest. We will talk to her about this later. After which Sam makes tea for Edna. Now Edna likes this a lot. And she gives Sam a ring as a gift. Here Sam also gets a sketchbook of Edna. Because she used to make something in her free time. Here Edna also made a picture of her son. On which Sam goes and shows it to her mom. Seeing this, Edna's mom becomes very happy. My mom kept me in mind and made my sketchbook. Then Sam saw a sketch of a house there. On asking about it, Sam's mom tells her that this house belonged to our grandpa and grandma. After which we left it. After a long time, we came to know that grandpa used to live alone. Due to a disease, he died. After which, in the memory of that house and grandpa, we removed the glass window on his door and brought it and put it on the door here. Now Edna tells Sam to take care of her grandma, because I will go to see an old age home for her. That means where people are sold when they get old, because I want to send my mom there. I can't keep her with me. She can stay there. Now after hearing this, Sam gets very angry and she gets angry at her mother. She gets very angry at her and comes to her room, while her mom also lies down to sleep. But then she heard a voice from outside. When she went to check, she saw that her mom Edna was standing strangely. Near a girl. She was brought from her grandpa's house and Edna was looking at her very carefully. Now Edna's daughter brings her to the room and puts her on the bed so that she can sleep. Edna says that I am feeling strangely nervous. I feel like someone is under my bed. Now her daughter looks under the bed but there was nothing there. After which the next day she went to find an old age home for Edna. At one place she liked it which was quite good in every way. But here she started crying emotionally. Because she didn't want to keep her mom here. But due to helplessness she had to do this. That's why she came in her car and started thinking about this. What should I do? She was also worried about her mom. That's why she started crying a lot. Sam sees that today grandma's mood is very good and she is dancing. Seeing this, Sam also becomes very happy. Now as soon as Edna saw her, she also starts making her dance with her. After which they talked a lot. Edna tells her that earlier a boy from the neighborhood, used to come to me. But now he doesn't come. And since then I started feeling lonely. I am lonely because of you. Hearing this, Sam says, Grandma, I was thinking that I should stay with you. In this way your heart will also be attached and I will also take care of you. On which Edna says, my child, how can you stay? You don't stay with your mother. What will you stay with me? Now she had to say this. And she forgot everything. She asks Sam, who are you? And what are you doing here? And she says, give me my ring. Thief, you stole my ring. Saying this, she tries to forcefully remove the ring from Sam's hand. She didn't even remember that I had given it to her as a gift. Now seeing this, Sam got very scared. She herself gives him the ring and leaves. After a while, when Edna becomes normal, when Sam's mom comes back, she starts telling her that Sam has said, that Sam's mom doesn't say anything to her. But after a while, Sam sees that Edna is standing near the closet of the room and staring at her. When asked, Edna tells her that this thing stays inside which is slowly eating the house. And me from inside, because she knows that I am in this house. On which Sam explains to her that there is nothing like that, Grandma. The house is fine and so are you. There is nothing like that here. After which she comes to meet the neighbor's son's dad. He used to play with Edna. They used to spend time together. One day when they were playing hide and seek, my son went into his closet and hid. But I don't know why Edna locked him inside and locked the closet. He was locked inside for several hours. Edna didn't take him out. And when I asked her about this, she said that I didn't even see your son. Although I had heard his voice. Then I took him out of there. And since then she has stopped going to Edna. After hearing this, Sam feels that there is some secret in that closet. That's why she thinks of checking it from inside. When she went inside, there was really a way there. Sam doesn't go inside yet and this scene gets cut here. There Sam's mom sees that Edna is going alone in the jungle. She also goes behind and sees that her mom is eating all the pictures from the beginning of the family and has also started burying them in the ground. Because she was afraid that, if she buries them in the ground, they will be safe. 
Now Sam's mom comes in front of her, on whom Edna started crying like a child and says that I am afraid of loneliness. I feel very lonely. Seeing this condition of her mom, she felt pity, and she hugs her and says, My dear mother, be quiet. I will not leave you alone in the future, and Sam and I will also be with you. Because just now she had decided to send her mom to the old age home. Because she realized her mistake that I should not leave her alone in her mom's old age. I should take care of her, after which they both come home. Now we see Sam who went inside that way. When she moved forward, the road was not ending anywhere but was going further inside. So Sam decides to go back. When she comes back to find the way out, she comes back to the same place where she had passed before. That is, this place was just a bubble. Now Sam is stuck here. And now when she was wandering here, she gets some notes written by Edna who helped her a lot. From which we came to know that when Edna was missing, she was actually stuck here. That's why Sam and his mom used to hear voices from the walls of the house that Edna was doing for help. Now when Sam moves forward again, she sees that now this road is getting smaller because the walls were coming down due to which Sam had to walk down. There Sam's mom somehow took Edna to the washroom to bathe her. Where she sees that the black mark on Edna's body has now become quite large while spreading. Which Edna was feeling so bad that she was trying to scratch it off. Due to which Sam's mom was quite surprised. But now Edna did not even tell him. She got up from there and left. Now because the bathtub water was open, it was flowing and spreading throughout the house. That water then went to a heater due to which there was a short circuit there. And the whole house's lights went off. There Sam's phone was not even getting a signal. That's why she was very scared. She was not understanding what to do to get out of here. While there Edna once again became quite strange. She forgets everything again. She asks her own daughter who are you? I will kill you. She had a knife in her hand. And now when she went ahead to kill her, Sam's mom saw that her skin was slowly coming down due to which she was looking quite terrible. Seeing this, she ran away to save her life. But in a hurry, she also comes to the same place. When she went ahead, she found Sam there. Both mother and daughter hug each other that thank God they met. Sam's mom also realized that. This place is a maze. That's why she started breaking the wall to get out of here. In the meantime, Edna also comes here who was looking quite strange. And now before she goes to attack them, she quickly breaks the wall and comes out of there. Edna was also behind Sam who catches her and attacks her. And now she comes up to Sam and tries to kill him. But to save her daughter, her mom hits Edna's head with an iron pipe from which she fell there. And now Sam's mom was about to take her and get out of here. That's when she sees the same glass window that she had put here after bringing her from grandfather's house. Seeing that, Sam's mom remembered how my grandfather died in that house. So she got emotional and now she had decided that I will not leave my mother alone like my grandfather. She came to her mother with courage and like a shell, she removes all the skin from her hair from which a black entity comes out. That is, it looked like a strange shadow creature. Its face was like a human but the body was like bones. Now Sam's mom takes her mother Edna on the bed and lies down. And then Sam also laid down behind her mom as if her mom was lying behind Edna, and now she notices that there is a black mark on my mom's neck just like it was on Edna's chest which grew so much that now her skin had to be removed. That is, this will happen with Sam's mom now. After a while, the fungus was also growing on that window of the door. Now here we know that an entity did exactly the same with grandfather as with Edna, that is, possessed him, took control of him and ate him inside and then killed him. And now after killing Edna her condition is also like this and now her daughter has possessed Sam's mother. It will be exactly the same with her that is, after getting the black form she will also die because, once Edna was also dead. This happened because she had put the glass of the old house here which was working like a cursed wine which was being eaten one by one by destroying their generation because that entity is a demon. And now it is obvious that after Sam's mom, she will also be in the same state that is, Sam, but if she goes from this house, she can be saved but here the most important thing for them will be the support of their loved ones then only they can fight all kinds of problems. Like Sam's mom was away from her mother Edna they did not live together and so their life was going on away from each other in problems so the most important thing in our life is the support of our loved ones, whoever they are stay with them, share love and take care of them. And with this the story of this film ends here.